If you think swimming with dolphins is expensive, you should try swimming with sharks. Cost me an arm and a leg. <laughs> Right, so hello again everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at a tool that's built in to Amazon devices that I think a lot of you might find interesting. And if you're looking at me thinking, whoa Adam, your beard's looking really nice, it's looking really trimmed. And yeah, I did it myself and I look pretty good. Sorry about the hair, I didn't cut the hair, but that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. <laughs> So first of all, what I will ask is do comment down below if you've ever seen this menu and also comment down below if you find it useful. I know a lot of people are going to say it's not useful for me. It looks absolutely dog shit. Why do I want that? And I totally understand it. But this is for the people who might find it interesting. I had to take a breath mid-sentence then because I nearly passed out. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put myself down here if you can see me chopping my arm off. And what we're going to do... For some reason, I've got to open up an application to be able to do this without installing any apps. And I will show you an easier way in a moment, but inside an app, I'm going to click the enter button and the down button on my Fire Stick remote. Hold it down for about five seconds and then click on the context or menu button and you're going to see nothing happens. <laughs> and it is worth noting, this works on your Fire Sticks, your Fire TV Cubes, your Fire TV, any Amazon device. So what I'm going to do, because it hasn't done it that time, I'm going to hold the Enter button once again and the Down button. Give it a couple of moments, and then try clicking the Menu button once again. And you're going to see it is very temperamental. That's why I'm going to show you in a moment what you can download to access it without doing these different button functions. So once again, hold enter and down for about five seconds, click on the menu button, still nothing happens, I'm getting pissed off, I feel like throwing the fire stick through the window, do it again. <laughs> right, so that did take about five attempts, but we got there in the end, and what you can see is a built-in developer tools menu, and the reason I had to open an application to be able to do this is because you press the enter and the down button, and then it ends up, if you're on the home screen, it just scrolls down all the list. And then when pressing the menu button, it actually brings up a separate thing on the home page. And if you did see that Informer app in the background, I have done a video on that. And I'll leave a link in the top corner now if you want to go and check it out. But, Developer Tools menu, you've got System X-Ray, Advanced Options, Configuration Panel and all that shit. But the one I think a lot of you will find interesting, especially if you do get buffering and things like that and you want to see how your device is running, you turn on the System X-Ray... And at the top there, you're going to see there's a lot of stuff going on. So I'm going to click on the back button to get off that developer menu. And what you're going to see in the top left corner, you can see at the moment my resolution is 1080p at 60fps. Now, yes, I am using the 4K Fire Stick, but the resolution to this monitor is 1080p. So for those asking if you need a 4K TV to use a 4K Fire Stick, you can see that's not needed. Next to it, you're going to see four bars, and I'm guessing, I don't know if this is to do with four cores, but that's your CPU usage. And as you can see, the number three, that's 100%. That's, that's high. So I can see that something's running in the background on my device that might cause it to lag a bit, cause it to stutter, and even cause buffering if I'm watching content. If I go across another one, you're going to see your memory. Now, I have seen people say this is your storage, but your memory is actually your RAM. And on the 4K Fire Stick, I think we've got 1.5 gigabyte of RAM. So that's a way to look at your RAM usage on your Fire Stick or your Amazon device. If we go across again, you've got Net, you've got System, you've got Visible, and then you've also got a green bar on the end. It may not be green for you. And this is actually a battery life left on your remote. So if you want to see how much life is left on your battery inside your remote, you can go into these developer tools and it'll tell you if you need to switch those batteries out or if you've got plenty of life on it. Now, the three options that we scanned past then was the net, system and visible. I'm not 100% sure what these are. If you know, comment them down below, please. I want to be honest, I'm not going to feed you with shit saying, yeah, that's that and that's that. So yeah, let me know. So as you can see, it does give you quite a lot of information of what your device is doing. If I click on the home button and I start clicking around things and I'm, I'm just going to go into the application section, manage installed, and you're going to see the CPU usage 
does start to go quite high. And this is where you might see your device start to lag a bit and start to go in a bit slow. I'm going to quickly open up an app and see what kind of usage we do get. And when it comes to the system section at the top, I'm not sure if that's how much of your internet this device is using. Because when it is loading up different content, it does seem to use more megabits per second. So now I'm just going to search one of the best channels on YouTube. It's called Free Tech. I don't know if you've heard of it. <laughs> What's the leading cause of dry skin? When we load this up, you can skin. see the CPU usage Vowels. does start to go quite high. <laughs> Now, I do apologise if that were a little bit loud. I didn't hear it here, but for some reason, I couldn't turn it down. <laughs> but yeah, if you think you're going to find it a bit fiddly using the button functions with the enter and down button together and then clicking on the menu button, what you can do is go to the top left-hand corner, and it's the Amazon App Store. If you're on the newer interface, just go to Search and start typing in Developer Tools. And you're going to see it does come up underneath Developer Tools menu. Once you click on this, the Developer Tools menu is the app you want to download. And once you've downloaded it and opened it up, you can click on where it says Developer Tools menu, and it opens it up straight away for you without having to do that different button pressing that can get quite annoying. And then simply turn that off and it gets rid of it. You can quickly turn it back on just to see what resolution you're getting, the CPU usage, etc. You can also see it says Advanced Options. And what this does is show you what resolution content's playing back in. But before turning it on, go to Launch Configuration Panel, go all the way down to Audio Focus, turn that off, and then turn on the Advanced Options. Now, it may not come up straight away for you on the right-hand side. And if I jump over to YouTube, I always render my videos out in 1080p, but as you can see at the moment, the resolution is 720 so I'm just going to go into the menu and go to the HD and then click on 1080p. And when it starts playing again, you can see now the resolution has changed and it is playing in 1080p. And then once again to turn it off, you just go into your developer tools and turn that option off and it disappears. Once again, a very useful tool to be able to see whatever links you're clicking on, if they say 1080p or 4K, that will give you the true resolution. Right, so I'm not sure if this is going to appeal to everybody, but I think it's just a nice little tool to use to find out more about your device. Comment down below if you found it helpful, and I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, and I'll see you soon. ta -da. If you think swimming with sharks is expensive, you should try... What? <laughs> So yeah, if you're thinking it's a bit fiddly to use the button fun funct functions, <laughs> functions, <laughs> and then I always render out my videos in 1080p, but you can, eat you can, can. <laughs> but before turning it on, go to launch configuration pile, pile. <laughs>